Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and hope you subscribe, hope you enjoy the videos here. So welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. So today I'm going to talk about the Path McGrath Mothership Mega Eyeshadow Palette. And this one's called the Celestial Divinity Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm sure if you're a makeup enthusiast or you love eyeshadows or you just love Pat McGrath, you probably know a little bit about her. She's an incredible makeup artist who also has her brand and her eyeshadows are so incredible. They're very pigmented, they're well-made, the packaging is great and of course they have a hefty price tag attached to them. I've never actually bought her usual mother sheep luxurious palette. I, um, I went on her website a few months ago and I actually have a video on it and I got her more affordable palettes. So this is what they this is what they look like. Um, these are the Eye Ecstasy mini eyeshadow palettes. I think they are. And I already have a video on these, so I won't really show them. Um, I'll just link it down below. I actually think I did two videos and this is what they look like. These ones were 22 pounds, but on offer they were 11 pounds each, which was amazing. I mean, of course the pans are smaller, but to be honest, like they're so pigmented, very good quality. And the packaging is not great because you're just paying for the actual eyeshadows and I personally don't mind. I mean, I like eyeshadows that have good um, packaging, but she released the Celestial Divinity eyeshadow palette and to be fair like when I first saw it without knowing how much it was I thought oh it looks so beautiful this is right up my street but I was like I won't I'm not going to be able to afford it because her prices just for 10 eyeshadows were looking at about 100 pounds sometimes a little bit more so I just said oh I'm just going to watch videos and leave vicariously to through everyone who has the eyeshadow palette however However, I went on the website when it was launched and I saw the price, I was surprised because I didn't think it was going to be that affordable. So I ooed and ahed and I thought, should I get it, should I not? And I thought, you know what? It's a holiday collection. I don't have any proper Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes and this is a big palette. This has 18 eyeshadows. Let's just get it. And that's exactly what I did. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. Um, Sorry, my lighting is not great, but this is what it looks like. It's very simple. It's just a cardboard pa um, packaging. At the back, you see some information about the eyeshadow um, or the eyeshadows inside. And it opens this way, which is nice. I mean, I am not mad. I've never really owned her luxurious palette. So this is good enough for me. And this is the actual palette. And this is what it looks like. It is a really beautiful, eyeshadow palette the packaging even though it's made of cardboard it's really good quality it feels super super solid and at the back it has the names of the eyeshadows uh behind them inside a palette it doesn't have the actual names of the eyeshadows which i mean sometimes i prefer the names to be inside the palette but this doesn't have it inside here you're getting 18 eyeshadows and they're reasonable pan sizes and you're getting a big mirror as well i would not I hope I don't flash you guys, but you can see this is the mirror. It's a good size. And this is the actual eyeshadows inside. Like how beautiful is this? This, this is, is the palette for people who are adventurous, people who want a little bit of color. You like highly pigmented, beautiful jewel tones. You like bright colors, not too bright colors, but you know, just bright, good enough. And I'm just, absolutely in love with this palette this is the kind of palette like if i was a makeup brand i will make this kind of stuff for myself because all the colors in here are right up my street like there are no odd colors i think why is this color here like i would never use but look at it it is very very beautiful apparently because obviously at the time these the eyeshadows i'm going to mention were launched i obviously didn't get them but they were limited edition and they were the star wars collection so i think she launched two eyeshadow palettes at that time um and apparently these this palette comprises of the two eyeshadow palettes that were launched with star wars so these six are from one of the palettes and the last six are from um, the other palette so it's really just the middle six shades that are new and I am not sure I don't think any of those um, colors have been um, created in maybe any of her previous palettes but this is what it looks like and um, it's really really beautiful like 
I feel like even if I had the Star Wars limited collection one, I would actually try it. So what are we getting inside the palette? The palette has one, two, three matte shades, which is could be problematic, especially for creating a full look. Already looking at the palette, I knew there wasn't any brow bone highlight color. So this is, like I said, this eyeshadow palette is for creating really adventurous looks. Like you would have to kind of use another palette if you want to have um, matte shades that would work for different skin tones. If you want a brow bone highlight color, you probably have to dip into another palette, but proper lid colors, you know, creating nice mixes of colors. This is the palette for it. So in here, these are the matte shades, one, two, three. And to be honest, that's what I used to create the look I have today. And it was fine. The only colors I used outside of this palette was just a brow bone highlight. So I used this color in the middle for um, my brow, um, not brow bone, <laughs> for my crease and tr transition, as well as this. And you can also use this as well. So I use these two and I use this green, um, this green eyeshadow and this other one here, um, just to create this look. And I have been using this palette for a really long time, trying all kinds of looks. So I'm gonna put in swatches of what this eyeshadow super pigmented very beautiful the matte eyeshadows they are actually better when you apply them on your lid as opposed to when it is swatched and that's one of the things i've noticed these eyeshadows there will be some fallouts and it's a little bit harder to clean um, but i don't mind another thing that is what mentioning is this little ribbon <sighs> i don't really know what it is for i guess it's holding it up so the mirror stands i wouldn't mind if it wasn't there to be honest but i don't want to snap it off because it's still a new palette, but I think in the future I might, or if it snaps off on itself, then I'll take it off. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm just a big, big, huge fan of this eyeshadow palette. This is just a show and tell um, and a swatch um, video just to show you what it looks like. This is the look I created. Sadly, I didn't actually film it because I was just trying to rush to film this before daylight goes away because I still haven't sorted out my studio lights. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope I wasn't all over the place. Now, the main thing is, is this palette what getting? The big answer is yes. And the reason is, one, she hardly ever makes 18 eyeshadow um, palettes. I think this is the first one, maybe I'm wrong, but she rarely does. The price is affordable. Even though it doesn't come in her fancy eyeshadow palette packaging, this one is really good enough and it's, actually lies pretty flat, um, flat, so it's easy to travel with. So yeah, I don't have anything to complain at all. I really like the eyeshadow. I'm sorry, the lighting has been so crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it about this eyeshadow palette. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.